Hey kids, long time no see. I've been busy. So today's project, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix one of the tools that I have for my job. Uh, I'm a home inspector now, and one of the things I use is this little guy right here. It's a thermometer laser gun gadget. Now, the problem with this, unfortunately, is for some reason, even when it's off, no matter what, it's got a slow drain of some kind and it eats nine volt batteries. So what I've come up with is I found these itty bitty little on off switches And I'm going to put this into this. Stay tuned. So the tools we're going to need today are, of course, the tool itself. We need a little bit extra wire, wire cutters, electrical tape, some drill bits, a drill, and a solder iron. Step one is going to be cutting the black wire. Snip. <gasps> oh geez, no turning back now. Off camera, I stripped a little bit of the insulator. What I've done is I've got my additional wire hemo statted right next to the stripped wire there and I'm gonna solder it. Solder iron is heating up. All right, so now we've got it soldered, electrical taped, and we're going to glue the wires into place. And now we'll let that set. Solder, 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 solder. Add a dab of glue here to keep the wires together. Right, so now we've got to mark where the battery ends. So that we can see how much room we have for the switch. All right, we've got our hole drilled. I'm happy with the fit. I dry fitted it. And I've got the wires set to solder them. Solder, solder, hot, 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 solder, solder. All right, I hold the batteries in. Wires are soldered. Drilled the hole. You had to cut a little bit of the padding to get the retention nut on it. We're good. Clears the battery fine. Now let's test it. So, trigger, nothing. No more dead batteries. 